Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you. It's time. Okay. Essayons. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Uh-huh. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon, I'll drink at night. Okay, okay, well, now we've compris. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. No, no, off. Okay. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts, fire, broken window of the shoe shop, the torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is. I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Okay, nouvelle enquête. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks. Ça, on vient de faire. Why are you... Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. No reason at all. Let me tell you... Another time, perhaps. Ok, donc ça on l'a fait, c'est bon. Question personnelle. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young. Like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change. And to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Oui, vu comme ça. Sounds like you were an idealist. Which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Mm -hmm. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit, I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Okay, I see déjà ça. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted. I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom Watts about him. Tom Watts, il me semble que c'est le propriétaire du bar.
Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Alors, qu'est-ce qui a changé? What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint at the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. C'est pas mal. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Ouais, D'ailleurs, faudra que je le trouve, lui. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. Ouais, tant que j'arrive à boire un coup aussi. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Oh, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. Un indice en plus. The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh. Why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. Parfait, donc on sait où est Sean. C'est déjà pas mal. La serveuse, qui n'avait aucune envie de nous parler. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? La dernière fois, elle nous a envoyé chier. What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. Mm -hmm. If you're uncertain about your safety here, the docks might not be the right place for you. I've got responsibilities. And it's not like I've got the money to move anywhere else anyway. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. Oui, oui. Pour l'instant. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but 
Where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? What, 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 oh, j'ai rien dit? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburn, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Mm -hmm. Une petite histoire assez euh, personnelle. Chaud, euh, non, c'est Willy, du coup c'est bon. Ah, quoi que si elle a des choses à me dire sur lui, je pourrais découvrir peut-être un indice ou pas. Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. Ok, moi oh, c'est bien vu. C'est bien vu, je respecte. Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un à l'étage Rien, là c'était le bureau du médecin. Il y a un autre ici. Ah 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 ah, on peut fouiller. Oui C'est pas grand chose. Ah, attends, 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 attends. Voilà. Il y a de l'argent un peu partout. Des objets. On récupère tout. Ok, alors, il me faut encore d'autres personnes. Ça doit pas être tout le monde. C'est impossible. Il y a encore tellement de personnes à qui parler. Ah oui, lui, on lui a parlé. Lui, c'était le premier. L'alcoolique, ça, c'est euh, le, 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 le sein qu'on doit aller voir. Les indices, ça avance un tout petit peu. Il faudrait que je retourne parler à Booth Digby. Parce qu'on a découvert un truc sur lui. Ça pourrait être bien de le savoir. You again. What do you want? Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. Mm -hmm. Are you so heartless that you could pull the trigger and kill someone without even blinking? Have you looked around recently? Do you really think one more body will make a difference? Uh, vu comme ça. Do you know Edwina suspects you to be unfaithful? Edwina's the one who asked to be called Mrs. Cox, even though Clay hadn't touched her for such a long time. You have not answered my question. She's a passionate woman. I've no doubt she'll shoot me down if I ever betray her, but that's not going to happen. I love her as she is. Ok. Deux indices de fait. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Il y a encore quelques personnes en plus à voir. Faudrait-il encore que je sois capable de les retrouver. Il doit bien encore y avoir une partie du quartier où il y a quelqu'un. Hello, boy. Um, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. Okay. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Oui, oui, vu comme ça, ouais. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Ah, okay. He's a mendiant. 
Do you have a job? It's hard to work, what with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the docks. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. Hmm. This city has abandoned so many of its children. It's tragic. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Oh la vache, Stella Fishburne, elle a une sacrée gueule, celle-là. Refuse Kingsbury. Do you know a man who lives in this part of town? A man named Sean Hampton. I'm looking for him. Sorry, sir. I don't know a lot of folks around here. Most prefer to avoid me. Well, I don't think you should talk to him. He may be very sick. Thanks for the tip. You might want to check the turquoise turtle. It's a pub not far from here. The barkeep knows everyone in these parts. On a message, Jeffy. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Les cheveux gris, lui. Trop de stress. Ah, la porte est fermée là. Stella Fishburn. Bonjour, madame. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. The disease takes away the good people too, madam. Why not let me in? It's Mrs. Fishburn. Stella Fishburn. And yes, indeed. Why not let a doctor in? Voilà, c'est bien. I can't remember the last time I had a good sleep. I've been nothing but worry. Là, je pourrais presque la bouffer euh, tranquillement ici, il a personne pour vérifier mes actes. Euh, on lui pique toute sa vaisselle en porcelaine, tant qu'à faire. Les gentlemen sont des cibles faciles par ici. Ben, C'est bon à savoir. Ça m'intéresse. So you have questions about the flu then? Yes, among other things. Forgive my rudeness at the door. It's just my son doesn't like strangers coming in the house. Uh-huh. How is life around here? Life has always been hard in the East End. But it's everywhere nowadays, isn't it? C'est sûr que ça s'améliore pas. Do you think the increase in violence has anything to do with the epidemic? Don't know, but it's most likely linked to the gangs if you ask me. Recently, it's like everyone has had to pick a side. Violence has always fed on poverty, don't you think? It's a cruel law of the human condition. And selfishness is their rotten fruit. These days, you can just die in the gutter and no one will bat an eye. May I ask what you do for a living, Mrs. Fishburne? Since my husband died, I worked at the Dawson Rope Factory, but it closed before the war. I occasionally help at the night asylum in exchange for food. Hmm. Did your husband die in the war? Oh no. My Jack was a docker. He died when my Seymour was just a lad. Poor boy saw his dad slip and fall from that scaffolding. How do you pay the rent then? My Seymour works at the docks, just like his dad. 
He's very attached to the house he grew up in. It's not always easy, but we get by all right. Au moins, ils s'en sortent, c'est déjà ça. The orphan that regards you as a mother. Please tell me about him, Stella. You mean Rufus? I wish I could do even more for the poor boy. Most people are so selfish. But you're not. Years may have passed, but I haven't forgotten how it feels to go through days with nothing but an empty stomach. I'm trying to locate Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where he could be? You talking about the one everyone calls the sad saint? The man who takes care of the homeless? The very same, Miss Fishburne. I'm sorry. I don't know where his shelter is. But if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. Bon, soit je sais déjà où il se trouve, j'essaie juste d'avoir des informations un petit peu plus... Un peu plus, euh, comment dire, personnel sur lui. J'ai entendu une bouteille en verre. Donc là, c'est les docks ou c'est pas les docks là Il doit encore y avoir du monde. Je vais faire le tour par là-bas. Il y a peut-être encore des gens dans ce coin là-bas. Parce que j'ai pas rencontré tout le monde, d'accord Donc les docks c'est ici. La vieille a dit qu'il y a quelqu'un qui travaille ici. Je devrais être capable d'en trouver un. Non Peut-être de l'autre côté de la rive. Doc Nord. Aumônier de Priwed, niveau 22. Ok on va peut-être faire un euh, demi-tour tactique et stratégique. Les docks. Qu'est-ce qui manque alors Les docks côté sud Je suis pas déjà allé Il me semble que si. Ah non, quoi que je suis allé du côté ouest. Ils ont rien vu, ils ont rien vu. Inconnu, voilà, il y a encore des gens. Je ne suis pas fou. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburne, if you must know. Ah, c'est bien le gars qui travaille au doc. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shit hole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Okay. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. Ah. Ce serait son frère adoptif. Is there no one who deserves your leniency then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated life. God knows she deserves it. D'accord. Et rien de nouveau. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Parfait. Euh. Te, te, Qui est-ce qui reste encore dans le coin là Rufus, ah bah il était juste à côté en plus. 
Ok, attends. Là, les docks, je te fais un bon petit tour, mais il en manque quand même. Euh, L'endroit où se trouve... Ah, il oui, y a les docks ouest encore. Donc, les docks nord, dock ouest. Donc, tout ça, ça fait partie des docks. Ce qui veut dire qu'il y a peut-être encore des gens sur les autres côtes. On va y aller. Si j'y trouve quelqu'un d'autre, tant mieux. Hop là Un TP Là, il y a du sang, mais je suis juste à côté. Je sais pas si je vais le faire tout de suite. Ça a été méthodique. Ok. Jimmy de Spark Barlow. Donc, c'est un boss. Je ne sais pas si je peux faire d'autres choses ici. Attends, 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 attends. T'es en train de me dire qu'il y a un chasseur de Priwen à 5 mètres d'une bestiole en train de bouffer un de ses compatriotes. Et il ne bouge pas. C'est quand même... Niveau 22. Chaud. C'est chaud. Bonjour monsieur. Bon, niveau 22, niveau 22. Euh, il a pris cher le pépère. Oh il est mort. Je suis même pas sûr d'avoir reçu quoi que ce soit pour son décès. Voilà. voilà ça c'est réglé. Échantillon de sang vif liquide. Bon finalement les. Je l'ai eu par surprise, donc j'avoue que j'ai eu un petit avantage déjà au départ. Ça a pu lui faire un petit dégât supplémentaire, je dis pas le contraire. Mais à niveau de 22. C'était pas si compliqué que ça finalement. Ah mais là il a rien, il y a que des chasseurs de Priwen, je vois personne euh... avec qui discuter. Je vais aller m'occuper de la mission. 